Hello, hello, everyone, or anyone, <laughs> anyone who's randomly tuning in right now. I'm Vicki Howell. Um, I am sitting in my bedroom right now. I apologize. I realize how much pattern's going on. That's just who I am. So uh, there's a lot coming at you right now. I'm, you know, it's jammy time here. It's wine time here. Um, but we are less than five days, less than four days away from... Um, going into production for the knit show and because so many of you have been with me on the journey thus far um, I wanted to keep you in the loop at all times so um, I just got the box for all of my wardrobe for um, the entire for hi Steen good to see you oh you're home hi Corolla nice to see people's names popping up um, oh Dana, you also have your wine. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Hi, Alina. Um, I just thought it would be really fun. This is totally unplanned. Clearly, I'm in my pajamas. Um, I thought it would be fun for me to open up the box of all the wardrobe that was provided to me. This whole project, The Knit Show, has been for the community, by the community. So anybody that's wanted to back and be a part of The Knit Show has either, you know, backed on Kickstarter or gone to the knitshow.com and clicked on become a back backer or has backed in other ways and one of those ways has been by providing us with necessary items so a big thing when you're shooting a show that has 10 episodes is like what's a girl to wear clearly I've worn everything I own on all of my live videos and other stuff I've done so I really needed a partner and I was thrilled with with um, when mod cloth decided that um, you know they would they would jump on in and um, and sponsor the entire season which was a big deal so I spent almost three hours in their Austin fit shop they have an actual shop in Austin where you can go and try on things and then they order it from modcloth.com for you and I worked with a lovely like stylist Lizzie who helped me get you know pick out stuff for every episode and then it was just sent to my house so I have to add some things I need to add some tights and stuff like that but all in all I think I have most of what I what I need so I thought I would open up the box and show you if you don't mind. All right. Mm. Jennifer, I just saw you come up. I received your lovely package and your note kind of got half of the crew through preparations for like days. Like there were a couple women in tears. So thank you for your kindness. All right. Here's the big box. So there's 10 episodes, but I think that we have maybe like 13 outfits just in case. I don't know. What if I'm bloated one day or if I'm not feeling something? It's mod cloth, so you know it's going to be funky. You know it's going to be a little quirky, but it's also going to be fun and playful and kind of cool. So our very first day, so oddly, it's just the way scheduling worked out. Our first day, we are shooting the first episode of the season and the last episode of the season. It's just how it worked out based on the guests that could be there. So the last episode of the season is called Handmade Holidays, so it's going to be very sort of like holiday gift related. And because we're in Texas where it is, I think it was 104 today, and, you know, it's also July now, there's not a lot of, you know, Christmas apparel or anything vaguely holiday related. So what we did is... Um, this first dress is a 1950s dress and it's got cactus on it because cactus are like the new owl as far as iconics but it's a very like southwestern Christmas especially if I put like a little red like a mini cardigan over it which is super cute right so I'm gonna be a little bit Texas a little bit you know rock and roll um, and I'm gonna pair it with some gold shoes which I hope they've sent me I'll need to look in the bag and something's glittery and sparkly and definitely some tights cuz I have fallen off my shoes one too many times and so I have scars on my knees oh I also have a mark I don't know if any of you followed me on Kickstarter but I put together a um, or I did a interpretational dance video as a spoof it left a mark. I have a scar on my knee from that too. So I will be getting tight. So 1950s dress, super cute. Look at this neckline. Um, and because it's mod cloth, you know what the best part is? Pockets. There's pockets in this dress. So I will be a happy host for this one. Okay, so that's one outfit. So 
the other thing that you'll notice is I'm pulling out a ton of um, send dresses. Again, it's Texas in the heat, and so there aren't a lot of other options. So how we tried to, but this is a knitting show, right? And it's coming out in the fall, winter. How do we make that work? A lot of what we're going to do to make it work is just put on these, I have several colors, hopefully they're all in there, of these little cropped cardigans. So what you should know about me, you don't need to know, but since we're here together and we're having wine, I have almost no torso, like none, like this much of a torso. So one piece stuff is really hard on me. A lot of times longer stuff is hard on me. So this little like crop sweater is going to do me just right because it will hit on me where a normal person's waist would not at all be. So that's that. Um, oh, this next piece, because I like a theme, is this really cute, um, hold on, it's like a tunic top. Can you see the lace? It's hard to see. It's like this really cute lace tunic. We're actually having a lace episode, so I thought it would be a really nice tie-in. I don't even have my studio light set up. This is straight up me in my bedroom, so the lighting's not going to be great. So I'm going to wear this with a cardigan um, and some jeans. Like I've got all these. So Mod Cloth has these awesome jeans. They've got them in navy and black. And they are like sucky inny in all the right ways. And they have the little like elastic on the side, which means they're super comfortable. Um, and so they're called the Boom Boom jeans, I guess. And so I have a couple pair of those. So I'll probably wear them with that um, and some... I have all kinds of, um, they sent me some T-strap shoes. Check these out. What? I like this style so much that this is the only kind of shoe I'm wearing the entire season. And Lizzie also got me out of my comfort zone of only wearing black. And this is like a burgundy wine color. Um, and uh, I'm going to just randomly put these with things. So I think I'm going to wear this with some jeans and then this really lovely lace vintage inspired tunic top. And then um, let's see if it came. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it did. They had another one of these sweaters, just like the red one I showed you, but it has this little like derby badge on it. And I just thought that was so sweet, like super cute, kind of crafty, really good. And the T-strap shoes that I just showed you are also super comfortable. And they come in like three or four colors. So if you're looking for like a cute sort of like head turning heel, that's also comfortable, just go to ModCloth. Um, it's just ModCloth.com. Super cute. Okay, so this is like a whiny plum color that I got. Um, yes, Dean, wine color, because that's how I do. So that's another outfit. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the lace, the lace episode. Um, for the color episode, where we're going to be exploring color techniques and different and colors of yarn and trends and that kind of thing, I'm going full on rainbow bright. I'm doing it. Are you ready? What? <laughs> I mean, oh gosh, this is going to hurt your eyes with the wallpaper behind. I apologize. But it's just kind of like a 70s inspired, easy breezy dress. I'll put a cardigan over it again so it doesn't get super, um, so it's not so summery. And let's see. And I think I'm going to wear a navy shoe. What's that you say? Wish we had a T-strap like that? Oh, we've got it. Same shoe. I just like it so much. They had other shoes. I just fell in love with the shoe. I have like oddly small ankles, and so I need a little extra zhuzh around my ankle. Super cute. And it'll go with that. And so I'll do some kind of sweater so I'm not sundress all the time. So that's for the color episode. Um, I don't... I don't actually know what I'm going to wear for every episode, but when I can do a theme, I do do a theme. So if I found it, then yes. Um, wait, Joseph and Dana McClough, wait, you, you crocheted a rainbow bikini a couple days ago? Are you going to wear that, girl? Not many people can wear a crochet bikini. Hey, good for you. That's awesome. Okay, um, let's see what else. Okay, so this dress actually... When I saw it, I was like, I don't know, it's denim, it's patchworky, it seems a little like Harper Valley PTA for me, but honestly, it's really sweet and cute on, and I might shake it up with like a red belt and maybe leopard heels just to bring a little funk in it. Really comfortable. I'm super short through here, so a lot of times anything with straps that aren't adjustable is hard for me, and so... This one actually fit, which was super, super um, exciting for me. So, and again, because it's mod cloth, 
pockets. All right. Oh, so Dana's not going to wear her bikini. Okay, that's cool. I mean, if you are, rock on. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to have a vintage style episode where we talk about just little little things that you can add to your, you know, modern knitting if you want that make it more retro. We're also going to do a project or two that's about that. Um, and so when I saw this dress, I was like, I was like, yes, queen. Look at this. Okay, so, okay, this looks less good because I don't have it. This is a wrap dress, which looks less cute with me holding it like this. But what you really need to see is like that 70s daisy print on a mustard, which is super on trend right now. Um, and it's super cute and fun. I just need to get tights for the aforementioned like unfortunate legs, but really, really cute. This is a dress that you could wear in summer, but also if you layered it with things, it would work for fall because of the mustard. So sweet and so cute. Okay, um, oh, this one is the kitschiest of kitsch. So we're doing a global episode, which is going to be about knitters and fibers and groups um, across the world, because we're all a, glo a global community, right? So when I said global to them, I was like, do you have anything, I don't know, with some kind of print, like an African print or something interesting? And she goes, no, but we got a globe. So... <laughs> We're getting a little literal with this, but I do like a theme. This dress, oh, that's right. It's got a map on it, but it's really cute and super fun. I'm going to pair it with probably, um, again, probably these navy shoes, some kind of jewelry, and... Probably just this like navy short cardigan, the one, it's like the one with the derby bow, but without this. Uh, Steen's asking if I'll have music um, from the band from NYC. Oh, you mean my friends Explosions in the Sky. It is not going to be their music, but, but good call. Um, we actually hired somebody, his name is Jonas Wilson. He is a producer here in Austin, Texas, where I live. He actually did the music for us for the PBS show I worked on. Um, but he had a little more freedom this time, which is awesome. So he created our theme music. So yes, absolutely. Okay, so map dress, also available. All of this stuff is available on, uh, on the Mod Cloth website. Okay, this next outfit got me a little bit out of my comfort zone because of the aforementioned no torso. Anytime I have to tuck something in, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a head and legs, nothing. But Lizzie talked me into it. So there's this really long skirt, which I love the print on. It's like polka dots and flowers. Um, again, mod cloth. So what does that mean? That means, ladies, there are pockets, which is really my, like, requirement for all skirts. So there's this, and then there's just, like, this kind of jersey fluttery top. And for me, I was just like, oh, there's no way I'm wearing that. Like, where, where, is, where is my body going to go? But because Lizzie was like, oh, we just need to create a waist for you. So she added this belt. Like it's a wide, like, I don't know, like OB belt. Um, and I actually didn't feel awful in it. So when I wear this, I don't know what episode yet. I haven't assigned it yet. I may be a little out of my comfort zone, but, you know, that's good for life. That's good. Um, okay, so um, one of the other outfits that... So um, again, I told you I ordered a bunch of just like of the short cardies just to make up for the all of the summer dresses. Um, another shirt that I'll probably wear just with jeans is this really sweet pink shirt, but I don't know if you can see it. It's got little um, paper airplanes, which felt pretty crafty to me, and I love that. Um, and then this outfit I thought was super cute. So there's this top that I could wear as is, but... Um, I'm actually not going to wear it as is because Liz told me, and I believe in Lizzie, uh, that I should wear it underneath this really cute sweater. How cute is this sweater? And I'm going to wear it with a pair of those tight jeans um, and probably shake it up with the unexpected cranberry heel because why not? Um, and then another outfit I got, and I've lost count, so I don't know, and I feel like not everything came. Um, there's this, I feel kind of like a punk rock pi pirate in this dress. So it's paisley, which I guess is neither punk rock or pirate, but it's got a handkerchief bottom. Can you see that? 
And if I have a really wide belt, which, yes, um, they sent me. Um, it's a belt that's just like the tan one I just had out. I'll wrap it. It's another OB belt, to, again, to create, to compensate for the fact that things are a little too baggy up here, so I have to pull them down and, and blouse them. And that'll be another fun kind of like party look for me. Um, the other thing, oh, I got a third pair of shoes that are exactly the same, and they're going to be for, who knows when I'll wear them. I'll definitely wear them for the holiday issue, but probably knowing me all the time. Oh, wait, I have the same shoe in gold bedazzled because there's no place like home. It's pretty good. They're pretty good. You know what it is, is I'm such a theater nerd. These remind me of character shoes, but with more, with a higher heel and more bedazzlement, and it kind of just... Um, it kind of just makes it fun. Teresa, thank you for saying this is fun. I feel like a total nerd sharing this with you, but I thought, why not? Um, and so other than that, they sent me some tights. I still need to get a bunch more tights. I'm going to do that. And then they threw on some jewelry pieces um, for the global episode to go with the map dress because, you know, I haven't already killed that, <laughs> like pounded that in. There's also this map necklace. I mean, come on. Um... There's this kind of fun, like, iridescent um, crystal necklace that actually Lizzie told me, and I, we'll see, we'll see. I might go leopard instead with this. She said I should put on, I should put it on with this outfit because it's completely unexpected. So maybe, maybe I'll do that. Um, they sent me this kind of topazy bib necklace. Um, some bar earrings, like just hangy bar earrings. That might be all of that. And then um, I think I have one more. Oh, the, the last top I have, I'll probably also, I'll also wear jeans. I'm most comfortable in jeans, so I'm going to wear skinny jeans when I can. Is this really cute? Um, there's something about this that felt very 60s. Well, actually, 50, late 50s, early 60s, the bodice of this. It's got little apples. It feels very fall, but I'll add a sweater over it just to make it seem... I probably wore, well, wear, oh gosh, it's so hard. They all match. I'll wear one of those shoes um, and some jeans just for some super fun. So um, that's really it. That is, oh, there's one more necklace, this little, like, just simple pastel necklace. Again, all of this stuff is from modcloth.com. It's all pretty affordable, too. I was, I, I go there, you know, I go there whenever I need something um, interesting that I know that, not everybody that I walk, you know, um, by on the street is going to be wearing. If I need something quirky or kind of different or interesting, I definitely go to Mod Cloth. And they've helped me before in the past, but this time they really came through. Supplying an entire season's worth of wardrobe um, takes a little bit commitment. And I'm just so thrilled that they agreed to partner with us on the Knit Show. So um, please give Mod Cloth a little love. Check out modcloth.com. And also, if you have not already gone to the knitshow.com and clicked on subscribe or else just go to YouTube and look for the Knit Show with Vicki Howell and subscribe. We need as many subscribers as we can get before all of the YouTube rules kick in where we can start really sort of getting the ball rolling. Um, so anytime, if you can start subscribing, that would be awesome. We go into production on Monday, so please follow at Vicki Howell and at The Knit Show on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to be showing all kinds of behind-the-scenes stuff. We're shooting all 10 episodes, the studio portions, in five days. We've got 20 guests coming out from all over the world to be a part of the show. Ec uh, they're industry experts and superstars, and it's going to be really fun and exciting. And I'm so looking forward to sharing every bit of it with you every step of the way, because as I said, The Knit Show is for the community and by the community. So thank you for hanging out with me this late whatever night it is, Thursday night, um, I am going to put all this away and probably curl up in bed soon. So mwah, thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye. Dana, you also have your wine. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Hi, Alina. Um, I just thought it would be really fun. This is totally unplanned. Clearly, I'm in my pajamas. Um, I thought it would be fun for me to open up the box of all the wardrobe that was provided to me. This whole project, The Knit Show, has been for the community, by the community. So anybody that's wanted to back and be a part of The Knit Show has either, you know, backed on Kickstarter or gone to the away from um, going into production for The Knit Show. And because so many of you have been 
with me on the journey thus far. Um, I wanted to keep you in the loop at all times. So um, I just got the box for all of my wardrobe for um, the entire... For Hi, Steen. Good to see you. Oh, you're home. Hi, Corolla. Nice to see people's names popping up. Um, oh, hello, hello, everyone or anyone, <laughs> anyone who's randomly tuning in right now. I'm Vicki Howell. Um, I am sitting in my bedroom right now. I apologize. I realize how much pattern's going on. That's just who I am. So uh, there's a lot coming at you right now. I'm, you know, it's jammy time here. It's wine time here. Um, but we are less than five days, less than four days, on knitshow.com and clicked on become a back backer or has backed in other ways. And one of those ways has been by providing us with necessary items. So a big thing when you're shooting a show that has 10 episodes is like, what's a girl to wear? Clearly I've worn everything I own on all of my live videos and other stuff I've done. So I really needed a partner and I was thrilled with, with um, when ModCloth decided that, um, you know, they would, they would jump on in and, um, and sponsor the entire season, which was a big deal. So I spent almost three hours in their Austin Fit Shop. They have an actual shop in Austin where you can go and try on things and then they order it from modcloth.com for you. And I worked with a lovely like stylist, Lizzie, who helped me get, you know, pick